Okay, hello everyone. Welcome to this info seminar for our MSc program in aviation engineering. So in this seminar, I will briefly introduce PolyU Faculty of Engineering and Department of Aviation, uh, Department of Aeronautical and Aviation Engineering. Then I will highlight some recent research activities conducted in this department and concluded by um, an introduction of the program structure curriculum and mode of study. So as you may be familiar with PolyU, PolyU, so I will quickly go through this part. PolyU was established in 1937 as a technical school and then was renamed as PolyU in 1994. So we are a young university. At the same time, we have a long history. Last year, we celebrated the 80, 85th anniversary. And this slide highlights some, uh, some uh, uh, remarkable buildings in this university, including the Hotel Icon uh, Library. Now we have a new library, as you can see, <coughs> from Invitation Tower. And we are located at a very convenient uh, place connecting the Kowloon and uh, Hong Kong Island. So PolyU has eight faculties, and Faculty of Engineering is one of the largest and oldest. Faculty of Engineering has seven departments. Department of Aeronautical and Aviation Engineering, or AAE for short, is the youngest one. We established, we were born in uh, 2016. We are the first we are the first academic department in Hong Kong fully focused on aviation and aeronautical engineering. All other uh, aviation related programs in Hong Kong uh, are under uh, mechanical engineering. We are the only one that is separated from mechanical engineering. So in terms of aviation, we are interested in how to um, operate aircraft, uh, particularly civil airplanes. Aeronautical engineering is about how to design airplanes. And uh, we also uh, involve some aerospace engineering. So, you know, nowadays aerospace engineering, uh, I mean, the boundary between aeronautical engineering and uh, astronautical engineering becoming more and more blurred. So we usually use aerospace to uh, cover both aeronautical and astronautical engineering. So aviation was hit badly by the pandemic. However, now aviation is coming back. After the completion of the third runway system in Hong Kong, we uh, expect that and with the uh, rapid growth of aerospace engineering in mainland China, we expect that uh, the job market will be huge. And that's why we established this MSC program to cover both aerospace and aviation engineering to cater for uh, different needs from different areas. So talking about uh, world ranking, PolyU was, Poly was ranked 65th globally according to QS World University ranking. And in Asia, PolyU is ranked 26th. It's pretty good. And the engineering, poly use engineering is also very strong. According to Times, the subject of engineering is ranked 51st in 2022. And here I would like to highlight uh, this academic ranking of world universities, also known as Shanghai ranking. That's the only ranking system where aerospace engineering was uh, separated from uh, mechanical engineering. And we ranked number 40, number 44th worldwide. That's the first time we were in this uh, list. And so we are very proud of, uh, we are very proud of ourselves. And of course, we are number one in Hong Kong. As a research university, PolyU has formulated seven, the so-called strategic research domains. And you can see that aerospace and aviation are two of them. So we expect that our department will be a focus area 
in the near future. Now we have 24 academic staffs in total, including two full professors, two associate professors, 14 assistant professors, and eight research assistant professors. We formulate six major research areas, including aviation engineering, satellite communication and navigation, aerodynamics, flight mechanics and control, aerospace structures and materials, and aerospace propulsion and combustion. So I will use a few slides to introduce some interesting acti research activities associated with these six research areas. In terms of aviation, we focus on uh, the situational awareness. Awareness means you are the, the uh, aware, awareness means uh, being aware of what is happening around you. So this is very important to decision making, hazard perception and operational safety for uh, air traffic control officers. Our, uh, our major research for facility for av aviation engineering is a full scale A320 flight simulator. I will play this video. <clears throat> Our satellite communication and navigation covers a full spectrum ranging from uh, receiver design and signal processing to positioning and navigation to mapping and sensors fusion and finally to uh, integrity monitoring. Applications, range, ap applications vary from smart devices, autonomous driving, UAV and civil aviation navigation. Uh, here, I would like to emphasize that we have been collaborating with Huawei uh, on, you know, navigation, on positioning and navigation in smartphones and uh, and, and, and and other smart devices. In terms of aerodynamics, we particularly focus on high-speed flow or hypersonic flow, where the flow where the uh, flow velocity is at least five times larger than the speed of sound. So this is the uh, state-of-the-art research uh, in aerodynamics. So hypersonic flight technology is very important to uh, national aerospace security and uh, development and has become a hot issue in, this, uh, in the field of uh, aerospace. So since a high, uh, such a high speed, five time, at least five times higher than the speed of sound, has two consequences. The first, the drag is huge. So we designed this so-called acoustic meta, meta materials to uh, absorb some disturbances developing in hypersonic flow, such that uh, laminar to turbulent transition can be delayed. Another consequence is the high temperature. So this, this is a typical flow over, uh, over a reentry capsule. The velocity is high and the gas temperature around the capsule can be as high as 10,000 Kelvin. So air properties are very different from those at sea level conditions. We need to consider the so-called high temperature effects, including chemical reactions and quanta, and quanta effects to uh, predict accurately the aerodynamic performance. And we have also focused on, we have been also focused on shock wave boundary layer interaction. The major facility is a supersonic to hypersonic wind tunnel located at PolyU. So this, this, facility, this facility is the one and only in Hong Kong that can achieve a hypersonic flight. 
In flight mechanics and control, we focus. We have here. I highlighted three topics. We focus on the transition uh, algorithm for uh, VTOL tail seater UAV. VTOL stands for vertical takeoff and landing, and particularly we 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 designed the algorithm. Here, transition refers to the transition between the hover uh, stage and the cruise flight stage. A VTOL UAV has uh, combines the advantages of both quad rotors and fixed wing aircraft. We also design and uh, we also uh, apply UAVs to uh, target surveillance and design the so called simultaneously uh, simultaneous localization and mapping or SLAM system to explore, say, tunnels, bridges, etc. In terms of aerospace structure and materials, we develop multifunction nano composites uh, by manipulating the the microstructure. We can achieve different thermal conductivity and optical absorption. We can achieve super white or super dark materials. And in the field of aerospace propulsion and combustion, we focus on next generation or novel uh, propulsion system for hypersonic flight. For example, we develop uh, a oblique detonation engine and rotating detonation engine. Um, recently, we established a uh, joint research center with the Academy of Aerospace Propulsion System. This, uh, academic, this uh, Academy of Aerospace Propulsion Technology designs uh, the long march rocket engine for China. So this is a curriculum, the subject list of our MSc program. We have two specialisms, including aviation operations and management and aeronautical engineering. In terms of aviation, we offer, um, we offer eight subjects, including guidance, navigation, human factor, traffic control, OR, application of AI in aviation industry, uh, aviation engineering services and fleet management, fleet, fleet management and airworthiness. In terms of aeronautical engineering, uh, it shares the same first two subjects with the aviation specialism. We also offer aerodynamics, aircraft structure and material, aircraft design, flight control, and propulsion system. All those subjects will be given in the evening on work days from six, uh, half past six to cater for uh, part-time students. We offer the mixed, the mixed mode, including full-time and part-time. So the normal duration of full-time is 1.5 years or uh, three semesters. The normal duration of uh, for part-time students, is 2.5 years or five semesters. You need to achieve 30 credits for graduation. Each subject has three credits. In other words, you need to take 10 subjects for graduation. There are two options. Option one, you take 10 subjects. Six out of 10 must come from the AAE subject list in the previous slide. And the other four, you can choose freely from other programs offered under Faculty of Engineering and even other programs, uh, even programs from other faculties in, uh, at PolyU. Option two, you select seven subjects. Four out of seven must come from the AAE subject list. And plus a uh, dissertation or a research project. So you need to approach our academic staff to. Uh, so you need to uh, approach our academic staff to talk about uh, which kind of which topic you are interested in and formulate a research proposal. In other words, this dissertation is equivalent to three subjects or uh, nine credits. If you choose, say if you are a full-time student and you select the dissertation mode. 
your normal duration will automatically be extended to two years. In the first year, you take the seven subjects, and in the second year, you fully focus on the research. Actually, to encourage students to choose the second option, the department is offering the so-called departmental dissertation scholarship. So in the second year, we will offer uh, $60,000 Hong Kong dollar to those who opt for dissertation. And that's based on competition, based on your uh, G based on your GPA or other academic performance. So in addition to this departmental dissertation scholarship, applicants can also, uh, our students are also eligible for continuing education fund. All AAE subjects are reimbursable. To encourage local students to complete their aviation related degree and devote themselves further to aviation industry in Hong Kong, the government also provides Hong Kong Aviation Scholarship Scheme. And the maximum reimbursement will be 100,000 100, Hong Kong dollars. About tuition fee. So, per uh, the tuition fee is 6,100 per, per, per unit credit for both local and non-local students. The application deadline is April 30 next year. And we only have limited quota for this mode. So if you're interested, please, you need to hurry. You need to hurry up. This slide is about entrance requirements. So students should have bachelor's degree in engineering, science, or technology. We will also give, a, we will also give special consideration to those who have other uh, relevant qualifications or working experience. Say you are a pilot, air traffic control officer, or air uh, aircraft maintenance engineer. We will consider your uh, working experience also. So if you, you are not native speakers of English and your bachelor's education was not in English, you also need to fulfill the minimum English language requirement, a TOEFL, a minimum TOEFL score of 80 and a minimum uh, score, L score of six. So if you have any inquiries about application and admission, you may want to check with AR, academic registry. If you have any question about program information, you can send email to our general office or contact me, the program leader, or Dr. Wu, the deputy program leader. So I think that's, uh, that's the end. That concludes this uh, info seminar. I uh, thank you for your attention. I hope you can join uh, our department. By the way, this aircraft was designed by our uh, AIA, AIAA DBF team. It's a competition organized by AIAA, American Institute of Aeronautics and Astronautics, and DBF stands for Design, Build, and Fly. So our students, including both undergraduate and postgraduate students, they design their own aircraft to fulfill different uh, requirements each year. Okay, so that's all.